Unusual painting. Cat house. Signed something. Expensive frame. Only $84. It's a cat house. You know what a cat house is, right? Oh. Okay, well, we are still in Ohio and we are at the Springfield Antique Center. Um, today, we are visiting the first building. We kind of went in reverse order. We saw the second building first and now, you know. So, so we're gonna head in and see what we can find by and flip our profit. Here we go. All right, here we go. You ready, baby Laurel? You're so happy. You have your unicorn. Here you go. Oh my gosh, there are cases for days. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see what we can find. This is a really neat chakra lamp. I've never seen one like that before. That's pretty cool. Oh gosh, look at this guy. $950 black cat squeaker. He is so cool. There is so much vintage Halloween in here. It's magical. Oh my gosh. It says Mattel. Yeah, it's from a movie, but I can't remember what movie that's from. Look at that lady back there. She's a ornament. That's interesting. Isn't it? Is she pottery? I'm kind of obsessed with her. Can't see the price though. I wonder if we could get her out. Is she holding a butterfly? Yeah. She's like, this is my pet overgrown butterfly. I'm really digging this. Glass with hand painted enamel. That would be us. Andrew just rang the little service call thing. 110 on those Kingfisher vases. What does it say? Wimple Chrysalis. I have no idea what that means, but yes, I love her. Okay. Do you I have a number on There is an enamel plate with fish on it. $17.50 on that. Ohio artist assigned. Let's see what we've got in this booth over here. Lots of piggies. Unusual painting. Cat house. Signed something. Expensive frame. Only $84. Andrew. Dearest. Mm -hmm. What? It's, it's a cat house. You know what a cat house is, right? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I thought they were just cute cats. They're dancing, look. Mm, I bet they are. <laughs> okay, well, Andrew said no to the painting. Maybe we'll find another painting we like. Picture done with glass on glass. That's kind of neat. Yes. What do you think of this? That's pretty. 68 bucks though. I feel like that's a bit too high. Look at this. This is in pulley. That is $26. I think we'll take that with us for $26. That's a nice piece of glass. $22.50 on that. It's kind of a tango glass. Oh, $32.50. Yeah, if it was $22.50, I'd probably take it, but not $32.50. That rooster is absolutely amazing with that detail. $200 on that. This is neat for $3. This is absolutely stunning. And I kind of wonder if it's made by that um, Spanish artist. Really glass blown bottle with enamel design. It's not ground on the inside, so it's probably complete without a stopper. That's absolutely beautiful. It's $225. I'm just not sure that I'm able to spend that right now. Look at here. What is this? Retro 
retro multicolor mini perfume bottle. That's neat for 65. That is missing a stopper though. Okay, so that definitely caught my eye. <laughs> I verbally said, oh my goodness, what is that? And you don't own this. I thought you sold that. No, we still have it. Hmm. Anyway, look at this. Look at the pink. It's pretty. It's only $385. <laughs> so beautiful. I wonder who makes that. I love this one in the front too. But I don't know if that's a perfume missing the stopper. There's some Murano in there for only 25. Can we call that Bristol glass? Yeah, that's a really neat purple. I don't usually see it in purple. No, usually it's like blue. Yeah, this neat. Looks like Mexican pottery. Yeah, they usually came in pairs. So it's preferable to find them in pairs. But the fact that that's purple, that's pretty neat. Is this A&P? Yeah. No. No, like the one I just showed you further down the aisle said Great Atlantic Pacific Tea Company on it. Yeah. And this one... I can't see the manufacturer's probably whatever that CWS Co is. That's pretty. What is it? It's marked on the bottom. Can't quite make it out. I don't know what it is about the pink today, but it seems to be catching my eye. These birds right here remind me of that um neodymium fenton that I had at Black Rose that accidentally got broken before I could check out. Uh, I kind of wonder if those would change colors under different light sources, but for $89.99 and $79.99, I'm not sure that I could do that. There's a fairy light in there, $69.99 on the cranberry fairy light. My friend Donna with Moon Doggy Coffee has asked me to keep my eyes peeled for a basset hound covered dish similar to these, but none of those have a basset hound on them, so yeah. What's that in the back? That one has a ship on it. There is some absolutely stunning Moriage in this booth. And um Looks like we've got a candlestick there for 60. 300 in the back on that large vase. Gosh, there's some really beautiful pieces in here. I don't think that there's really anything I could buy to flip for a profit. But it's really neat to see it all in one place because I typically find one piece here, another piece there. This one in the back is called a Queenie Pitcher. $700. I've never seen anything like it. And there is also a um, cracker jar there as well. So that's neat. Oh, look. And a humidor. It's a full set. Up here, the one that's really like catching my eye is that one for $250 in the back with the beautiful yellow. I love the bright colors. Okay, well, I do have to give a shout out to Scott who works here because apparently he was working all weekend and hoping that I was going to show up and he just happens to be off work today and today is the day that I decided to show up. So, um, shout out to you, Scott. Maybe I'll see you next year. <laughs> all right, so I figured we would wander down this area here, check out a few cases, and then there are booths on the outskirts, so we will do that next. There's such a huge variety of stuff in these cases. Mm, this is neat here. Denmark Angels, $60. She's really pretty. This booth is reminiscent of the booth that we saw at the other building. Uh, they had a lot of Tonella pottery in there as well. This one looks like it's got a little bit of Talavera up there, that really brightly colored piece. There's some glass fruit, a bunch of figurines. I bought a few pieces out of the booth at the last building, but I don't really see anything there that piques my interest. Well, this case is dark, but 
in the back there, you can see there is a bird. Can't quite make out the sticker. Oh my gosh, look at the owl. Forget the birds. Look at the owl in the back. That's everything. I wonder what the price on that is. Let's get an idea for the pricing by looking at the other pieces. 45 bucks on this. 25.50 on that. Makes me a little nervous <laughs> to find out what the price is, but I'm loving that owl. All right, so we got this out of the case. It is marked on the bottom, but it's $195. Oh, okay. We have moved on from the cases and we are now in the booths. Um, I did ask Peter about the owl and he says that $195 is retail. I think we're going to pass on the owl even though it's super cool. We're going to see what else we can find. What is this? <laughs> okay, false alarm. I saw the checkers, I saw the pastel colors, I thought, oh my gosh, could it be just waiting for me? It is not. What did you find? Mm. Another kitty? Cat and monkey bottles. <laughs> I'm so glad you were with me because if you weren't here, I would have bought that painting and brought it home and found out the hard way. <laughs> oh, shoot. I found another cat and this cat is magnificent. It's made in Italy. It's $125. It is a pink cat. This is the best ceramic cat I've ever found. I don't think I can take him with me, though. <laughs> He's so great. They have some really nice lamps in this booth. These things are interesting. Candlestick holders. Nope, no signatures. Which is very interesting. I see you. Hi. Is that you getting your toes? Hey. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing to me? Squishy. Squishy, squishy. No, no smile. Squishy, squishy, it's because you get the camera on her, that's why. I know, she hates the camera. As soon as you turn the camera off and I do that, she's going to look right at me and smile. Okay, turn the camera off. No, because it's pointed at her and she knows. It's down here now. She's no dumb. She's following it. She's not okay, dumb. Cheese. Squishy. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so, I just explained to Andrew, um, I stopped dead in my tracks for this candle look. Ladder. And the reason I did is because one of the most valuable pieces of candlewick that I've seen is the birthday cake plate. And it actually has little holes for candles around the outside. And at first, I thought that's what this was. So I was really excited for $28. But as you can probably see, there are no little holes for candles. So um, it's going to have to stay here. There is a lot of candlewick here, though. You can see here. But no birthday cake plates. Okay, we're gonna go this way. I think this is like the last aisle that we had to check out. Oh my gosh, it goes on forever. <laughs> and I still have not eaten anything. What did you find? What is that? Daily Planet. Oh, that's cool. That's the newspaper from uh, Superman. Yeah. But they, it looks like it's like. Add it on. Uh huh. So they covered up. There's like it's like made up title. Oh, that's neat. It's still kind of cool though. Yeah. I found it. Found what I was looking for. This thing. It is a tension pole light. Oh, it's only eight hundred. Only eight hundred and ninety-five dollars, sweetheart. <laughs> Darn it. It's so cool. I absolutely love it. Um, back here is a mirror with these like winged creatures on the edges. I have a ton of Franciscan in here. 
Love the desert rose and the ivy. Oh, and a little bit of apple. That's kind of neat up there. What is that? Oh, peach ginger jar. Jar without a lid. I see some nice glass in the back here. What is this? Hand-blown MCM free form orange dish. I really love the color. It's so vibrant orange. But it is $24. That looks like a sitting stricker. $25. Eh, I don't see a marking on the bottom though. Heisey by Moser. 169 instead of three geese. I like the looks of that pottery back there. That's a nice coloring. What is the price of that? 40 bucks. Let's pull it out and get a closer look. That is pretty. That's <laughs> made in Italy. Of course it is. Gosh. I just don't know at 40, and I don't know why I'm being so selective. Here we have a few pictures. Um, these are made in Japan. They're made to look like a Dittmer Urbach, but you can usually tell of the Japan ones because the coloring wears off a lot easier. And they're very lightweight compared to the Czechoslovakia pottery. I really love the looks of this lamp. I feel like the shade is definitely not doing it any justice. It looks kind of Italian, but I'm not sure. And it has felt on the bottom. Let's see what the price is on it. $42.50. Oh my gosh. Do I want to gamble on that? I do, because it can be shipped. Now, unfortunately, there is a lot of wear down on the bottom, but the pottery itself is really nice. Let me bring you guys slowly over here to this lava glaze. The lava glaze on here is so great, although I have to admit it kind of looks like puke. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, uh, what do we have over here? What's a Giri? This is neat, and I like that. What is this? E priest. Interesting. I've never heard of that before. All right. So I'm gonna grab the lamp. I mean, it's only forty-two fifty. I'd be silly. Let me make sure. Is it only forty-two fifty? Yeah, forty-two fifty. Okay. I thought maybe it was one hundred and forty-two, but yeah, I'll grab that. I don't really need the shade though, so I'll see if I can leave the shade here because. Probably don't have room for the shade. All right, well, we're gonna leave the shade here in case they want to use it for something else. Let's check this out. I noticed that really funky looking candlestick in there. Fond de Cuff France candle holder. There's an Empoli bottle. Oh, those look like they could be Artisani Rinconada penguins, maybe. I'm just not that committed to get a key right now. This is adorable. This is a Mardi Gras basket purse. That's pretty neat. A Caro Van Dayton basket purse, $39. There's even a lucky penny on the top. That right there looks like um, McCoy Cascade. I don't come across that very often, but I have bought and sold it in the past. I remember the last time I bought it, it didn't sell for what I had expected it to sell for. $30? That looks like Murano to me. Needs a nice wipe down though. Hello elephant. Blue elephant, $14. Oh, he's made of plastic. This is a heavy kitty cat bank. It is heavy. Wait a second. What is this down here? Let's look closer, shall we? There is a signature. John something something 2013. Our glass bowl, $29. All right, I need to investigate the signature a little bit closer. I don't recognize that name. John Des something. 
How much is it? 29. Yeah, I think I'll do that. 29. Andrew is just buzzing through here. Don't worry, I'll catch up. <laughs> She's chewing on her unicorn. <laughs> um, I saw this in the back of this booth. It's wild looking. $69. Right? Or is that $6,900? This is crazy looking. It's signed Jack. That's $69. I'm taking that with me. That's crazy. I think it is $69. Bucks. Let's look down here. Oh, that looks like Murano in there. Let's see if this opens. It does open. Look at that. Let's check it out. Come here, you. That's a pretty color combination. 35. I'm not certain. 100% that that's Murano, but it is a nice quality glass. 35 decisions. You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it, and I'm going to take the jack and pulp it, because we are running out of room in the car. Okay, I was all excited about this, and I was like, Andrew, look at this, and I turned it over. I didn't even have to fun sponge it for you. I know, I totally fun sponged myself. I mean, I'm not really mad at it. It's 69 bucks. I feel like this is something special. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Yeah. Oh man, come on, don't do that to me. Yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. Well, Andrew thinks I should leave it behind, but I think I like it too much. And it's the back leg that's damaged. I told him if it's not worth anything for resale as it is with the damage, then. I'll keep it for myself because I really love it. So, all right. I think we're gonna get out of here now, right? Yep. All right. First of all, what is that wacky looking thing back there? $28.50. Oh, it's pottery. What? Mexican pie cord. Oh, that's everything. <laughs> I mean, the vase was everything, but this is also everything. There is some um, paint wear on it, but for the most part, that's amazing. $28.50. I think I'm going to... Th at first I thought it was plaster or um, paper mache, so I was like, nah. But it is uh, ceramic, so we'll, we'll carry them both up front. So Andrew was covering up the tag, and he said, do you know what this is? I'm like, well, it's a TV. And he says, what kind of TV is it? It's a jail TV. When you go to jail, you get a TV, and it's clear so they can see if there's any shanks, weapons, contraband, anything you're not supposed to have. And How do you know this, Andrew? I just know things. <laughs> Lots of research. Lots of research. <laughs> that is pretty neat. Okay, our total spend there at Springfield Antique Center was $207. And I'm very, very excited about that pottery lamp. I suspect that it is Italian. I'm quite sure. Um, so the vase, uh, the artist on that is Jack Pine. Thanks, Peter, for that one. Um, and I think I'll do okay with that. I'm not going to double my money, not by any means. But um, I think I'll make a little bit of money on that. So I'm not too disappointed. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. And I will see you all you tomorrow. So long. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see